Today, I've done a little deal on 700 kilos of sprats. There's another uh, seven and a half tons of them, so I've got one pallet to deliver to this guy. I've got them cheap because uh, they're, uh, they're, there's a, not much date left on them. One of the perils of, of uh, dealing with frozen foods. You buy something, you've got 18 months to sell it. So I've got it cheap, there's not much date left on it. And it's going in to uh, a bait guy. But the fishies don't care about the date because fishies can't read. And if it tastes nice, they eat it. So I'm going to do a little QC. Here we have the pallet on the back of the vein. So I haven't looked at them yet. So I'm just going to take the box off. Get a few out. There we go. Headless sprats. My goodness, they'll have been headed and gutted by hand by somebody in Latvia. An army of ladies in a Latvian factory. Look at those, they're lovely. They just started to go a little bit yellowy, which is what oily fish does when it starts to, to get old and have a bit of an oily, rancid smell. But they're okay, they're still edible. Like I said, the fishies don't mind. So let's have a few in the frying pan. That'll do. And then uh, I'll just go and deliver the pallet to, to the guy that's bought them. And then he's hopefully going to buy the rest if he likes this pallet. So when I've dropped the pallet off, I'll park up somewhere and we'll do a little fry up. A few more. A few more. Uh, a few more. I'll take some for me dad. Right, that'll do for now. Right, here I am three hours later. I got my pallet of sprats taken off. Uh, Fort lifted in, into my man's factory. So uh, he's happy. Got my little sample on the van, went off into the Lincolnshire Wolds, did a few errands there. And uh, here I am now, what, three hours later. Uh, parked up in the middle of the Lincolnshire Wolds. Look here. Nice little cops that man scarcely ever sets foot in, probably. Wolds. Just a stone's throw from Cadwell Park over that way. And here is the pan. Get rid of those. I can't see out. So here we are. Here's the pan with a few uh, sprats on. There, there are the others as they were when they were frozen. They're a bit soft. I, I'm a bit unprepared. Didn't have any oil or anything. And they were a bit dry and they were sticking to the pan. So I've thrown a bit of, uh, a bit of the old wife beater in the pan. Stella. So I think they're about ready. Yeah. Haven't got a fork. Hmm. The good thing about them is. There's no tummies in them. Ordinary sprats come with the bellies in and the head on. Just looking for the salt. So they normally come with their sprats with their heads on and the bellies in and you have to take them off, head off and bellies out yourself, otherwise they're a bit bitter. Well these are already done, so a bit of salt because they're a bit bland, I'll turn that off now I think. So, 
what more do you need? Mm, much better. What more could a man ask for in the middle of a lockdown? Than a fried sprat. A beer fried sprat. In the middle of the lovely Lincolnshire Wolds. Absolutely lovely. And the taste is fine. There's no bitterness, which you sometimes get when sprats and herrings, any oily fish gets old. So I think the fishes will like these. But it's important to know when you're selling something what the quality is like. So I can say to my customer with confidence, no complaints, these are fine. Mm. Well, that's that for today. Thank you very much for watching. Ta-da!